Do you have any dentures or anything? Oh, we're doing an x-ray. Okay, okay. Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, I try to get this small one so it's a little more discreet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep it just like so. Just like that. You don't. No. Oh. <laughs> just like this. So. Okay, you can hold it if you want. Or can so I can hold it for you? So then, like this. Little, yeah. You can flip it. So now you can just turn it. Yeah. Oh, better. Okay. So what I'm doing? You have two here. Can I stop it? Just put it. The red button. The red? Yeah. This one? Yep. Mm -hmm. Which one? This one? Yep. Turn it on. Yep. Okay. Okay. Don't move. You move? No, it's not on it now. <laughs> you move. Can you move it a little closer? I got it. Mm -hmm. Like this. Use that knob. I think the camera is snapped. So let me leave it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I get it. Oh, 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 oh. Don't move, okay?
competitive, right? You can't. What was recording? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can put my earrings back on. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Nice to meet you. Luis, nice to meet you. Please have a seat. Good morning. How are you doing today, Ray? I'm doing good. Say it again. So we're gonna take a couple little bit more x-rays, okay, Oriana? Okay. We're just gonna do some limited x-rays on you, get a full series, you see everything looks good. So that's what she does for doing the x-rays. Okay. Orena, when was your last cleaning, more or less? Um, probably when I had braces. Huh? So maybe about a couple years ago, honestly. A couple years ago? Yeah. You having any pain, any issues now? You, mm -hmm. good? you good? Yeah. So we are going to take some uh, x-rays. Uh, we are going to do the cleaning. Okay. Uh, at the end of it, we will do the exam, okay? Okay. Good. Teeth look kind of straight. It look kind of. I would like me to come back another day for a team. Okay, because that's just I just want to avoid any problems. Copy. And I already told him you're going to film that. Okay. okay. Are you sure you want yes, to yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever you want to do. <laughs> When you're done with the tongue detox, you can just go into the office of your mom is there with you. Okay. Tongue detox. That's new. That's new for me. I didn't even know that was a thing. Mm 
You said you said you're doing what? The Hollywood? She's choosing the uh, Hollywood type smile, mm -hmm. which we're going to do a transition for her. We're going to do a mock up for her so that she can see what it's going to be basically mm -hmm. so she can get a preview. So okay. it's basically a preview so that she approves it. And she's happy. So say goodbye oh, to, that, know. to that. <laughs> but I was smile. already telling her. I was like, she, you know. I'm telling you, she want, she's always wanted to get my teeth done. Mm hmm. Um, yep. Yeah. So now you're right. Time. You're right. And now's the time when we can choose the shape, the color, anything that you want aesthetically, we can achieve it. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be a lot happier. Oh, showing it. What do you mean this? You want oh. me to end it? <laughs> Not you controlling my production. <laughs> Cut. They got to see everything. They, oh like to, they like to feel like they're in the room. <laughs> Wait, I gotta take a photo of this too because you know we got. I like to put stuff on my Instagram. Wait, hold on, put on the glasses. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Patience, mm -hmm. and we just want everybody to get to know us yeah know what we offer the quality that we offer so wait first who who because they who you've worked with like who have that you're able to well that we a, able to um that people that came and did their stuff mm -hmm. with us um when we were working at five star we did we had the pleasure of being with jake paul the okay. boxer um nice. erica mena mm -hmm. was one of our good clients as well um, we also had uh, three amigos, the amigos, uh, yeah, the amigos that came in. Take off, so, yes, yeah, uh, so, take off, offset, and Quavo. Yeah, there were Quavo, yeah. Quavo, 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 okay. Quavo. So, um, so yeah, a lot okay. of people do. You know, they they do their research. They look for dentists. Mm -hmm. They look, you know, where they want to go and get their work done. Mm -hmm. And you know, the beautiful product of it is, you know, you having a dentist that you can trust that's going to do good work for yes. you and not do. What we call mediocre. So work. Yep. They're right. so humble here. Yeah. Humble. Oh my God. And you know, we yeah. like to treat, we like to treat here, especially our patients are our family. Yeah. If I have you in my chair, I have to treat you like if you were my mom, my dad, and give yes. you nothing but the best. If not, what's the point of going to a dentist, you know, just to be another number? Mm -hmm. We don't believe in that. We believe in making, you know, our patients our family. And our reputation stands behind us because mm -hmm. we have patients that turn around and bring us six seven i'm bringing you my family i love yeah. the way the treatment i love what you guys do and that's what it is and when you see a smile transformation trust me you're going to want to say i want to do it too exactly because i did my tops and then my friend but i've been told you yeah, I've been, it's time yeah it's time for her yeah. to transition yeah i i i had people like because you talk about santana and that's a lot of the crowd that I was with, and they were telling me, they was like, girl, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna look into it, so just... But your I'll, teeth, let me see, your teeth are very beautiful and very white, but we can definitely always improve. I Anything saw, you always I want to improve. Did, I saw the white, the book you saw the, the oh, Yeah, man. and especially, like, the, the type of smile that your mom's choosing, there's so many different types. Yeah. You can get them, yeah. and, and as dentists, they can tell because either the canines are a little pointy, yeah. the other ones are a little bit square. So it's every it's it's what really now what the patient wants and what we can achieve with every patient. Going yeah, she's going. Ooh, like that. Yeah, because you're the first person to talk to people for me, so you know, you've always said that. Yeah. So I'm getting that one. Hollywood. You ready? Mm -hmm. She's ready. Okay, good. Yeah. So then. I've been asking her for the longest, are you ready? So when she told me, when y'all talked to her, you kept asking her, are you ready? And I'm she, like, I the, keep... No, the other one, the other, uh, what's her name? The other um, who was just here? No, she was here. Um, the other lady that was Jasmine. Jasmine was the one that asked me, was I ready? Yeah. Yes, today. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh my God, my daughter says that all I kept telling time. her that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because things are moving, moving. and they're moving mm -hmm. fast. And I'm like, yeah. and I told her specifically because a lot of what I do with like different companies, NFL players, is I I guide them and consult them based off of numbers. 
So I heard that. Num- oh, numerology, numerology and astrology. So I told her specifically, I picked out her day. So for example, we're talking about veneers, right? And today's mm-hmm. the 22nd. The first letter in veneers is V, which is the 22nd letter in the alphabet. So everything here was, was specifically planned. The reason why is 22 is the number of the master builder. So we're building her a whole new image, building her a whole new look, right? So I told her because her last, with February 10th, you ever heard of the Chinese New Year? Yes. The Lunar New Year? Yes. So a lot of people don't understand why did um, China start to have such a booming success? They're using the numerology. So even with their Olympics, their Olympics was held 8-8-2008 because 8 is the number of money. So everybody has their own astrology sign, whatever year they were born. Do you know what, what year you were born, the, the Chinese no. sign? So what year were you born? 75. She's a cat. She's yes. a cat. So 2020, I'm born the year the cat also. So 2023 was a really good year for you. 2023 yeah. probably was a spike. Actually, believe it or not, I won two. I made 17000 on a machine at Hialeah Park. And then after that, one month later, 8000 on another machine. You said you made, what was the first one? 17,000. 17 is eight. Seven and, plus one is eight. And eight. And then the second one was? was like 7,000, almost close to eight. Yep. That's how this works. So she's born the year of the rooster. So 2023 was actually her enemy year. So I told her, I said That's specifically, I, I said specifically, do not get them done until afterwards. If you probably would have got them done, none of this probably would have happened. Genuinely. None of this probably would have happened. But now what that means is 2017, I don't know if you may remember, but 2017 was your enemy year. So that was a very hard year for you. Probably. Yeah. Around that so, time. But the thing about it too is um, we're able to predict markets because every company also has a birthday, a founded date. Like the company Apple mm-hmm. and, and um, Tesla, they've been using this. So for example, I have this number 28 tattooed on me. And the reason why is because 28 is the number of wealth. So I always tell all the companies, like, if you can, make your price as close to 8 and 28. Make it add up to that. So I'll give you an example. I'm born 1999. 1999 adds up to 28. Now, it makes sense. When they were on TV and they had all those TV commercials, all of the commercials were $19.99 because it adds up to 28. Now, if you look at the richest people in America, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and Steve Jobs, Bill Gates and Elon Musk are both born on the 28th. Steve Jobs' birthday adds up to 28. Even the company Apple, the year that it was founded and the birthday adds up to 28, which is why it's one of the top countries. I mean, the top companies, right? Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. And that's why they say millionaires don't use astrology. Billionaires do. Because a lot of people, they don't see beyond what's happening. That's you true. know, when, when we when we have certain prices, they're doing this on purpose. When things come out, like you see how um, Apple is a dragon and we've just entered the, the year of the dragon. Now, if you see Swarovski, Armani, they've come out with dragon collections. So what I would tell companies is when you see Chinese New Year's coming out, have a dragon special or have a, 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 you know, start to connect with the energy because it'll start to benefit you. Another company that I'm working with is a, a big hair company. Um, they said they found it in 2012. I said, okay, 2024 is going to be a really good year for you. They said, wow, that makes sense. We got our biggest brand, Ulta, this year. I said, that more of that is going to happen. So 2023 was a really big year for you. 2027 will be another big year for you. What you want to do for this year is you want to focus more on politics. You want to focus more on power. You want to focus more on um, those type of things, you know, like, politics. yeah, politics and power. So if you're able to like, you know, if you end up having more politicians or things like that, that'll really benefit you. Well, we've actually been doing that. <laughs> we've actually been doing that. That's interesting because we've wow. had, see, yes, we, I mean, we're advocating for a lot of other people and and the chamber of the creole community which Mm -hmm. is something that we support bigly and like i said yo pro is one of uh princeton's um he's like the founder of that and Mm -hmm. they get come out with um 